start. So welcome, we're gonna do our uh, Pilates yoga combo this morning. Today is Friday, April, what? Uh, 17. <laughs> so welcome and make this next hour all about you. And just kind of send away all of your anxious thoughts and focus on just your breath and your movement and becoming very powerful from the inside out. Let's go ahead and start down on our backs. Let our arms be restful at our sides. Palms facing over to the sky. Let's close our eyes and begin breathe deeply into our nose, expanding our belly back and rib cage on the inhale. Exhaling out through the mouth. While we're breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth, let's become aware of our arms. Nice long stretch in our arms from our shoulders to our fingertips. Think about really tensing all the muscles in your arms. Now let's relax the arms and do the same with our legs. Long stretch in those legs from hips to toes. So think about really tightening the muscles in just the legs and keeping everything else relaxed. And go ahead and relax your legs. And now we're going to focus in on the belly. We're going to imagine the back side of our navel being drawn down towards the spine. Holding it there without holding our breath, without tensing the rest of the body. Truly just isolating the belly. And then let the belly relax. Let's try that again. Navel to spine, holding it nice and tight. Not holding our breath, not tensing the rest of the body. And let it release. Now let's inhale the arms skyward. Exhale, reach behind us, stretching out through all of our fingers. And then I want you to push out through the heels of your feet. So you're really stretching the legs straight. Bring your big toes closer together with your heels apart. And then just breathe. And then feel everything go soft. Lift the arms back up and return them to your sides. Once there, let's go ahead and pull the right knee to the chest. Give it a close hug and flex and point the right foot. Turn that into an ankle rotation, leading with your big toe towards that big line of the body. And then just let your foot relax. And we'll switch the legs. In goes the left, out goes the right. Flexing and pointing your foot. Roll the ankle around, the toe, leading the way towards that midline of the body. And then just let your foot relax. And let's bring the other knee back in. So we've got a nice tight hug. We've got the knees to our body, our shoulders relaxed. And a few rocks from side to side, massage your back. Now come back to neutral and circle the knees around and around. So now we're massaging through the lower back. And then let's reverse those circles. And then hug your knees in nice and close to your body. Next, tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs, round up nose to knees, chin to chest. And really step down. Again, tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs, round up, nose to knees, chin to chest. And release back down. Let's try that once more, rounding the spine, nose to knees, chin to chest. Now we're going to stay up there, place your hand in a little triangle formation, and rest that uh, triangle on the back of your head. Once there, let's separate the knees, heels touching toes apart, inhale your legs straight out, exhale, pull in, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now as we inhale and push out, big toes touch, heels apart, and then exhale, pull back in, heels together, toes apart. So we've got arrow and V, arrow and V, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
inhale, last two, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now knees and feet come together, stretch your toes, press through the arches, and then pull back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, flex your feet, press and pull, and press and pull, and inhale, exhale. How about our last two? One more to go. And then from there, we're just going to send the legs out and we'll point and flex with our feet. Meanwhile, we're still in that C-shape. Four, and three, and two, and remain. Now, arms at your sides, off the mat comes, facing up. Let's start to come firmly. Inhale for five feet, and exhale for five feet. You want to modify this, simply bend your knees. You can modify even more by resting your feet down. But in all three levels, we've got the arms pumping a good six to eight inches high, using the entire arm from our shoulders to our fingertips. Let's do one more round. Remain there. Now tuck your knees back in. Ooh, rest your head down and feel the warmth. All right, moving on to roll ups. Knees to bend, feet on the floor. Legs press together, arms behind us on the mat, shoulders relaxed and open. We inhale the arms up, we drop the shoulders back. We exhale, scoop the belly and roll up as far as we can go. Big inhale at the top, and then exhale as we scoop in and roll back down nice and smoothly. Inhale, arms come up, drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to peel you off the floor, stretch as far as you can. Big inhale, exhale, tuck, and we roll back down. Again, inhale, lift your arms, drop your shoulders back. Exhale, using your belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can reach. Big inhale, exhale, tuck, and let's roll back down. Again, inhale, arms come up, our shoulders drop back. Exhale, using your belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale again, and then exhale as you tuck and roll down. So if you're confident that you're not engaging your legs to help get you up, push them out straight, inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to peel you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale again. And then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, lift the arms. Let your shoulders drop back. Exhale, use that belly to peel you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale again. And then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Let's try two more. Inhale, arms up. Drop the shoulders back. Exhale, tighten the belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Let's try two more or one more. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, and then exhale as we slowly roll back into the mat. Once there, go ahead and push out through the heels of your feet. Stretch nice and straight. And let your body relax, and then we'll lift the arms up, and let's return them to our sides. From there, we'll bend the knees, bring them in towards your body. Tighten the belly, shoulders neck and head off the floor, looking right at your belly button. Arms extended at your sides, palms facing up, and now bend your elbows so your fingertips touch your shoulders. On the inhale, arms and legs go straight, open, close your legs. Exhale, tuck your knees, and then your elbows. Inhale, push straight, open, close legs. Exhale, knees. Elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close legs. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, close legs. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, close. Exhale, knees, how about two more? Inhale, push straight. Open, close legs. Exhale, knees, let's do one more. Inhale, push straight. Open, close legs. Exhale, knees, and then elbows. Tuck your knees in, send your head down. Easter has its own beginning and its own ending. That's our last two. And one, that will the other way up first and then bring it up. But still accentuating and pulling across the body part of the movement. Last two. One more to go. And then hold that leg up. Now let's bring the other leg back up. This time we're going to lower the legs together, inhaling on the way down, about halfway, exhale, sweep around, come together. 
So let's inhale down, exhale. I want you to make sure when you're doing this that you're not using your lower back. So keep those bellies tight. Inhale down, exhale around. Inhale down, exhale, pull around. Inhale down, exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale down, exhale around. Pull it. Now go the other way. Let's go out and around together and then pull up. Inhale around, down, exhale, come up. Inhale around, down, exhale, come up. Inhale around, exhale, pull. Inhale around, exhale, pull. Inhale around. Exhale, two more. Inhale around. we got one more. Inhale around, exhale, and hold it. Now let's keep the left leg straight up. Bend your right knee foot on the mat, level one. Or push it out straight for level two. Left leg crosses the right, circles out and up. Really work at stabilizing that pelvis. Last two. One more. Now go the other way. Out and around, in and up. Last two. One more. And then hold your leg up nice and straight. Now bring the other leg up to join it. All right, this time we're going to do corkscrews. So both legs circle around to the right and then come back around to your left. So these circles are small, about the size of a basketball, but we want them to be very nice and round and we want them to be directly above us. So we're really working at pressing down to the back of the body and really lengthening up towards the side. Last set, last circle, and you're there. All right, now go ahead and tuck your knees in. Uh, All right, from here, let's place our feet on the mat. And we'll keep them apart about this distance. Meanwhile, we're going to turn our toes in slightly. We're going to stretch our arms long and straight at our sides. We want to make sure that our heels are a good six to eight inches away from our gluteals so that when we lift up into our bridge, we're really activating the hamstrings and the buttocks and not feeling this in the quads or the knees. So we start by tightening the belly and slowly rolling off the mat one vertebra at a time. Press your hips up as high as you'll go without feeling weight in our neck. And then exhale equally as slowly we melt back into the mat. Again, inhale, let's tighten that belly and slowly make our way off the mat. Pressing and holding into our good strong bridge. And then exhale as we go back down. Again, tighten the belly, slowly coming up. Leaving the mat one good breath at a time. Holding onto our bridge. And then exhale as we come back down. Again, tightening the belly and slowly peeling up. Now I want you to remain in your bridge and pull the right knee in. Set your leg straight up to the ceiling and let's lower lift the leg. Down, up, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We've got four. How about three and two and one? Stay up and lift a little higher. And draw little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big hold. Good. Now bend that knee. Place the foot down and just swap legs. So other knee pulls in. Nice and straight to the ceiling. Let's go and lift. Flex. Point. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Four and three. How about two? And one, nice and strong and tall. Circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stay. Now let's rebend. 
Go ahead and place your foot down. Keep pressing your hips a little more, a little more, a little more. And then from there, we slowly melt back down, down, to the mat. Ooh, once we're down, nice tight hook to the body. How about a few gentle rocks side to side? Massage that lower back. Couple knee circles round and round. And reverse. All right, from here, we're going to move into our single leg stretch. So we're going to resume our C shape by tightening the belly, pressing through the back of the ribs. Shoulders off the mat, nose to knee. All right? So we're going to keep right knee in, stretch left leg straight. Place left hand atop the right knee. Right knee goes atop the right ankle, elbows open. And let's alternate. Knee to chest, toes to wall. Reaching, 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 reaching. We've got eight and six. How about four, three, two. Now just big hold, switch hold, switch hold, switch hold, switch two more, switch one more, and stay. Now bring both knees in. Rest your hands on your ankles, your shins, or the tops of your feet. Double so leg stretch. As we aim the arms, start reaching up. And then they stretch back as the legs fall away out. Exhale, sweep the arms around. Tuck your knees in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull. So remember, we want to really work at staying in our C shape by using those abdominals to hold us up. We don't want to feel any strain or stress in our neck. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull. Inhale, stretch. How about two more? Inhale, stretch. We've got one more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, and we're there. All right, straight single leg stretch. Right leg is straight, aiming up there towards your ankle. Calf is fine as well, nothing below that. Left leg nice and straight. Now think about drawing your right leg towards your face, pulling your left leg away, and then we switch. So I want you to simply use your hands to guide your leg forward, but not yank or pull on it. All right? So we're really focusing on stretching the legs apart from one another. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, bring both legs together. Rest your head for a moment. Form your triangle from the index fingers. Level one, insert said triangle under your butt and make sure your butt stays on the triangle. Level two, you're pressing your butt into the mat, facing that triangle on the back of your head. Everybody tightening, coming up into our C shape, holding there. As we inhale, we're going to lower legs about halfway down. Exhale, pull the neck up. So let's inhale lower, exhale pull, inhale lower, exhale pull. Now, never ever during this exercise, should be feeling anything in the lower back. So that means your abdominals have to be all that powerful work. And we also want to make sure that we're not letting any kind of momentum pull our gluteals off the hands or the mat, whatever you're doing here. Inhale down, exhale, pull two more. Inhale down, exhale, last one. Inhale down, exhale, and remain. All right, go ahead, place your head back down, knees back into the chest, tighten the belly, come back up into our C shape, and we're gonna go right into crisscross. So right knees in, left legs out, everybody try to go on the back of your head for this one, starting with just your legs, in, 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 in. Touching our toes across the room, four and three and two, and stay, now lift a little higher. Rotate at the waist to your opposite armpit, crosses to your knee, then we switch. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. And I don't want you to rush these, all right? I want you to really focus on lifting before you twist. So you're actually activating those obliques, and you're not pulling on your forehead. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. Let's do eight and six. Here's four, three, two, stay, switch, stay. Switch stay, switch last two, switch one more, switch and stay. Tuck those knees in, send your head back down. And Very nice. All right, rest your feet down on the mat. 
And send the arms wide, do a little drop of the knees to the right so we can look left. Feel that release in the waist. Come back up and we'll switch, go the other way. Knees dropping left, eyes looking right. And then come back to neutral. And from there, let's take extend the legs out onto the mat. So we're going to keep our legs apart, no wider than our hips, and then I want to rest your hands on your thighs. So this next exercise is another rolling up exercise. Using the belly to roll us off the mat by placing your hands on your thighs. We're going to tell you just how much you're cheating to get yourself up. So we inhale in preparation. On the exhale, we're tightening the belly. We're going to pull ourselves up. We're going to try to fit our head down between our knees. And then we're going to sit up really straight, pull your legs tight together, open your elbows, get your back straight, and then inhale and stick that. Exhale as we scoop the belly in and roll ourselves back down. We go again, legs are open, hands up, thighs, inhale. Exhale using the belly, peel us up, stick your head down through your knees, pull yourself back up, pull your legs together, open your elbows, with your back straight, and then inhale and stick that. Exhale as we tuck. And roll back down. Again, legs are open, hands to thighs, big inhale. Exhale, using your belly to peel you up. Get your head down between your knees. Sit up nice and tall, pull your legs tight together. Open your elbows, with the back straight. Inhale, lift to back. Exhale, tuck, and roll down. Let's do two more. Legs are open, hands to thighs, big inhale. Exhale up. Sit up nice and straight, pull your legs together, open your elbows, keep your back straight. Inhale, switch to the back. Exhale, tuck, and roll down. Last time, legs up our hands to thighs, big inhale. Exhale, peel you up off the mat. Get your head down through your knees. Sit up nice and tall, pull your legs tight together, open your elbows, keep your back straight. And then inhale, it to back. A little more, and then exhale, tuck. And we roll ourselves down. Once we're down, nice long stretch. All right, and then from there, let's bring the knees back in and we'll roll ourselves up. All right, once we've made it upright, let's do another move for the waistline. We're going to do our saw. So for the saw, we're going to keep our legs apart no wider than our hips. Flash, uh, flex our feet, we shall throw our heels. And remember, if you need something to help keep your back straight while your legs are straight, roll up your mat, sit on a pillow, use a block, whatever you've got handy by, so that you can actually make sure that you're able to sit super tall and straight with any, um, any kind of rounding with the need to bend your knees. Once we've got that done, we're gonna extend the arms out, palms are facing the ceiling. Imagine you've got a cup of tea sitting on the top of your head. On the inhale, we're going to rotate to one side. On the exhale, slice off the pinky toe. Notice that your back hand is still aligned with your front. Inhale, come up. Rotate. Exhale, come forward. So it's inhale, lift, twist, exhale. Lift, twist, exhale. Sit tall, rotate, come forward. Sit tall, rotate, come forward. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, inhale, rotate, 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 we've got two to go, inhale, rotate, last one, inhale, rotate, and exhale, come up, center, and release, nice arm circles back to front. Good, and then just let the arms relax. We're gonna bring our legs closer together. Come off your elevated surface if you're using that. And let's go ahead and bend our knees. So I want you to bring your thighs in close to your body. Drop the shoulders open, keep the head held high. Think about really lifting and opening your heart. And then when you feel ready, find your balance on your tailbone. And we're gonna keep our back really, really, really straight. As we begin to lift our feet, Going where we can without rounding your back. And then let's re-bend. Try again. Start extending your legs and only going as far as you can without rounding your back. 
and read them. Kelly got one more, so we'll lift up. And then once we find that place, let's add the arms up. And that completes our teaser. Keep breathing, keep holding, and now let's open the leg down, down, down to the ground. Once there, flex your feet, reach out for your fingertips. All right, now let your body go soft a bit. And we're gonna keep one leg straight and then one knee foot on the mat. All that's gonna do is help you roll towards your straight leg. And then you're gonna keep rolling and rolling and rolling until you end up over onto your belly. And then once we're on our belly, let's reach out to our fingers, reach out to those toes. And I want you to reach a little farther with your right arm and your left leg. And after you've got that maximum reach, you're going to lift away from the mat. And don't forget to breathe while you're here. Come back down a little switch. Reach out with your left arm and your right leg. And then once you've got that maximum reach, lift away from the mat. Let's come back down. And this time, arms and legs together. Stretching out, stretching out. And then lifting away from the mat. And breathe while you're here. Good, now float yourself back down. Bring your hands in so they're close to your shoulders. Tuck your elbows into your body. Press down through your hip bones. And as you're doing that, think about lengthening your spine and then lifting your head and your heart away from the mat. Once you're up, we're going to keep the shoulders away from our ears. And there's a nice cobra pose. Exhale, coming down, let the elbows widen as you melt back into the floor. Now tuck the elbows in again. Lengthen first before you're adding your lift. And again, open the elbows, coming down. Last time, let's tuck the elbows in. Lengthen before you start lifting. And then from there, we're going to push ourselves up and back. Then we're going to get that tailbone to reach towards our heels and our forehead to reach down to the mat, letting your chest actually drop between your knees. And there's our extended child's pose stretch. Let's scoop the belly in and start rounding the spine, bringing us up for cat. Let your navel sink, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart now. Try again, let's exhale, round out for cat. Inhale, open for cow. Exhale again, round out for cat. And then inhale, open for cow. And then just make your way back to a neutral all fours. While we've got that belly button nice and tight and our eyes looking straight out, we're going to push that left leg behind us and the right arm forward. Let your right palm rotate a little bit towards the sky, and there's our spinal balance. Exhale, come down, and let's switch out. Out goes the right leg, up goes the left arm, stretching and reaching. Come back down, let's switch again. Feel like you're trying to touch the walls across the room. Lower end will switch. Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. And return to all fours. Touch the big toes. Let's separate the knees again and press back with that tailbone. Now I want you to keep your fingers wide spread. And think about really pressing your weight towards the big index finger knuckles or removing it from the outer edges of our palms. Let's tuck our toes under and start building down the facing dog. Gonna let our head drop through the arms. We're gonna feel our rib cage drawing closer to our thighs. And we're gonna feel our bottom edge of our shoulder blades drawing down towards the gluteals. Let's walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. And then just raise one heel and press the other down. Switch those out. Lift up both heels. 
and return them to the land. From there, let's come back down on all fours. Big toes touch, knees separate, tailbone reaches back towards your heels, and the back and extended chair is close. Good, let's re tuck the toes and come back up into down dog. Now take a giant step forward with your right foot. And once you've got your right foot in place, we want to make sure that our knee is stationed over our ankle. Our eyes are looking out. And there's our runner's lunge. Now for runner's lunge, I want you to place your hands on that right thigh and just lift your upper body. So that brings you into high lunge. You notice that I told you to put your hands on your thigh, not on your knee. Good, and then melt forward again. Let your hands return to the mat. We'll step our right foot back into our good strong plank and then press back up into downward facing dog. And then let's switch legs. So now we'll step the left foot forward. And again, we want to make sure that our knee is stationed over our ankle. Our eyes are looking out. Breathing into our lunge. And then place your hands on your left thigh and just lift the upper body. And there's our high lunge. All right, now melt forward, hands return to the mat. And let's take a giant step forward with our right foot. So we're gonna turn our toes in slightly and our heels out slightly. And we're gonna let our upper body actually press against our thighs. So if you need to keep your knees bent in order to do that, please do that. Now feel the belly button get tighter and tighter. Let's start rolling up. Let's reach high and touch the sky. Exhale the ends to our heart. Again, inhale to the sky. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale to our heart. Once more, inhale, touch the sky. This time, exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Inhale, looking out. Exhale as we sink deeper. Let's step the right foot back and the left foot back. There's our plank. Modify to your knees. Lower halfway and fold it with wide open elbows. Now lower your chest, lower your hips. Tuck your elbows in. Lengthen, rise into cobra. Push back into extended child's pose. Tuck your toes, lift your tailbone. Sink your heels down, downward facing dog. Let's inhale forward to plank. Exhale again, downward facing dog. We'll step the right foot forward between our hands, bringing us back into lunge. And then I want you to push your left heel to the back, turn your left toes out. And draw a straight line from your right heel to the back of your left heel. Start lifting your upper body. Weight's going to press into right big toe, second toe. We've got our hips facing forward. And then when you feel ready, you can have your arms. So I always say strong arms with soft shoulders. And let your arms go wide. And then start to pull that right leg straighter and straighter. Let's rotate the upper body. And that's going to bring us to the side of our mat and simply adjust your feet. So your toes are in, your heels are out, and your feet are a little wider than your hips. There's five point and start. From there, let's let the arms float all the way down alongside the body. And then inhale, let's lift them towards the sky. Exhale, open, let them float down alongside the body. Inhale, lift back up towards the sky. Exhale, they float down. 
Inhale, lift again. Now let your palms meet and then draw your hands together at your heart. And then from there, start to hinge forward. And you're gonna stop once your back is parallel to the ceiling. Now let your hands reach down towards the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to. We're gonna inhale, look out. And then we're gonna exhale and sink all the way down as far as we can. Letting those forearms drop, letting our head dangle. Bear with us for you. Good, now let's press down through the palms. The arms get straighter and straighter. Inch your left hand over so it's centered beneath you and then push down on it with your right hand. On the inhale, start opening the right arm to the side, and then as we exhale, revolve at the waist, which will take that right hand up towards the sky. Exhale your right hand back down. Once you're back down, let's inhale, look out, flat back. Extend the arms wide, taking us into our straddle airplane. And let's inhale and make our way back up to standing. Once we've made it back up, palms are facing the sky. We're going to turn our right toes to face the front end of our mat. Align our right heel with our left arch. And then when we feel ready, we bend our right knee. Bring it out over the ankle. And just look right past your fingertips. Press your weight into your right big toe, second toe. Let's reach a little farther forward with the right hand and then start lifting the right as you lower your left. Rotate your right palm towards the sky. There's our reverse warrior. Exhale, back into warrior two. And then pull the right leg straight without locking. And we're right back where we started. From there, we're ready to start pulling our left hip behind us to the left and reaching our right arm out as far as we can. And imagine doing this while you're being pressed between two panes of glass. Lower your right and lift your left. And I want you to feel the back of your left shoulder against the wall. And you're gonna press that left hip a little bit forward to maintain that straight line to the body. We're not feeling any tension in our neck. No tension in the shoulders. Just lots of open space. One more inhale. On the exhale, let's start to bend the right knee and rotate the upper body. Once you've made it back, runner's lunge. Eyes looking out. Good, now let's step the left foot forward. Let your big toes turn in, your heels point out. And then slowly let's move up. Reach higher and higher to the sky. And then exhale into the heart. Again, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Extend the right leg behind you, hip level, and push out through the right heel. Form a tripod with your hands and your left foot. Feel free to remain in tripod balance or work yourself into half moon. Aligning left thumb with left pinky toe. Opening our right hip. Sending the right arm towards the sky. Exhale the right hand down if it's lifted. Everybody bend the right knee and pull it right into your chest as you bend your left knee a little bit. And then I want you to push the left leg straighter and straighter and extend that right leg towards the sky. 
Try that again. Let's bend the right knee. Pull it into your chest as you're bending your left knee. And then push the left leg straight and extend that right leg towards the sky. And then from there, we'll step the right foot back in. Big toes turning in, heels turning out. Let's start bending our knees and pulling our knees together like we're sitting down into a tiny chair. Once we can feel our seat in the chair, we're gonna lift our ribs away from our thighs. Add your arms alongside your ears. And then inhale as you reach towards the sky. Exhale, place your hands at your heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale, pull the body forward. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot steps back. Right foot steps back into plank. Modify. Lower halfway, elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows in. Inhale as you lengthen and rise into cobra. Exhale, press back. Extend the child's pose. Tuck the toes, come back up. Now we're facing up. Step the left foot between your hands. That brings us back in more lunge. And now we can push our right heel down, turn our right toes out. Align our left heel with the back of our right heel and start lifting up the body. Weight remains at our left big toe, second toe. We've got our knee over our ankle. We've got our hips facing forward. You can add the arms, and there's our warrior one. Good. Let the arms go wide. Start to pull your left leg straight. Rotate the upper body. That's going to bring us into five pointed star with our toes in, our heels out. Let's lower the arms down. And then inhale towards the sky. Exhale again, lower the arms. Inhale towards the sky. Exhale again, lower the arms. And then inhale towards the sky. Now let your hands meet together once again. And then draw those hands down into your heart. Start hinging forward. Stop once your back is flat and parallel towards the sky. And then let your hands release down to the neck. Bend your knees as much as you need to. We're going to inhale up out. And then exhale, melt a little deeper. Letting those forearms just drop down. Press your palms into the mat, pushing your arms straighter and straighter. Slide your right hand over so it's centered beneath you and push on it with your left hand. As we inhale, start opening the left arm and as we exhale, revolve with the waist and you've got your left hand on the ceiling. As we exhale, we'll bring your hand back down. Once it's back down, let's inhale, nice flat back and out. Add your arms for your shuttle airplane. And then let's inhale our way back up. And then once you're up, we've got our palms rotating towards the sky. And we're back at five point and start. Now we're ready to turn our left toes towards the front end of our mat. Align our left heel with our right arch. Keep the front of your body facing the side of your mat and then bend your front knee. Want to bring that knee out over the ankle without pushing past our toes. Feeling our weight press into that left big toe, second toe. Reach a little farther with your left hand and then start lifting the left, you should lower the right. 
Rotate your left palm towards the sky. Reverse warrior. Let's bring ourselves back into warrior two. And then start pulling the left knee straighter and straighter. And there we are back in our third position. Our right hip begins to pull behind us to the right as our left arm is reaching all the way out across the room. And again, feel like you're doing this while you're being pressed between two panes of glass. Let's start lowering that left hand and lifting the right. And that forms our triangle. So we've got our right fingers on the ceiling and our hand should be directly over that shoulder. Feel like you're trying to touch that right shoulder on the wall behind you while you're pressing your right hip a little bit forward. And breathe. Showing all that open space. Now as we exhale, let's start to re-bend the left knee as you revolve your upper body. And that's going to bring us back into our runner's lunge. Good. And then from runner's lunge, we're going to step forward. Big toes turning in, heels turning out. And let's roll the body up. Big try and touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale as we fold forward. Inhale, length and look out. And exhale, stay deeper. Now let's take the left leg and extend it behind us. Hip level. Your hands form a tripod with your right foot. And that's our tripod down. So we can stay like that, or we can move into half moon, aligning our right thumb with our right pinky toe. Starting to roll our left hip open, and then adding that left arm towards the sky. On the next exhale, we're going to bring the left hand down if it's lifted. And then I want you to pull the left knee into your chest as you're bending your right knee. And then start to straighten the right leg and push your left leg towards the sky. Try that again. Let's bend the right knee, pulling the left knee into your chest. And then straightening the right leg and extending the left leg towards the sky. And then we're going to set the left foot back in. Big toes turning in, heels turning out. As we start to bend both of our knees, we're pulling them together, sinking our hips into the chair. Lifting our ribs away from our thighs, adding our arms alongside our ears. And then let's inhale and rise from our chair. And exhale, hands in our heart. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale, hold the body forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, back down. Let's sit that right foot, left foot. And again, just remain in a nice, strong plank. Pushing through the back of your inner knees. Keeping your buttocks relaxed, but holding the belly tight. Now let's keep our right shoulder over our right wrist. And we're going to turn to the side. And you're going to show me your side plank. Modification. Side of the knee on the mat. We'll come back around into our full plank. Let's press back up, inhale, dog. Come forward again into plank. This time it's left shoulder over left wrist, turning to open. 
Reaching that right arm towards the sky. Exhale, come back around in plank. And once again, press up, baby down dog. Let's walk our dog a few more times. Lifting up both of our heels at the same time. And then feeling them sink back down. And then from there, let's ease down onto all fours. We'll keep our toes curled under and then walk your hands closer to your knees and lift your upper body. So we're just going to remain in a kneeling position. Making a fist with our hands. We're going to place those fists in our lower back on either side of our spine. Once we're doing that, I want you to think about really lifting your heart center, opening it up, drawing the elbows a little bit closer together, and then tipping your head back to open your throat. And let's bring our spine back to neutral. Let the tops of your feet rest on the mat. Now I want you to clasp your hands together behind you and just pull those clasped hands downward towards the mat. And again, that's going to open up your heart. You're going to take your head back, open your throat. And then bring your spine back to neutral. Let's start sinking our hips down towards our heels. And then melting our ribs towards our thighs. And as you're completely melting down, head to the mat. I want to lift those clasped hands up towards the sky. And then as we exhale, let's release and let your arms ah, just roll down alongside your body. Place your hands under your shoulders. On that way, we can just lift ourselves away from the back. And then once we're all the way up, let's come around and have a seat. Let's work on our butterfly so we can bring the soles of our feet together. Bring your heels in as close to your body as you can, keeping our back nice and straight. Just breathe into those inner thighs and outer hips. Feel them. Releasing and opening a little bit wider. And as we exhale, let's relax a little bit. And we'll stretch our legs out. So once our legs are stretched out, we'll place our hands on either side of our hips. And I want you to push down into your palms until you have lots of tension in your arms. And I want you to push out through the heels of your feet. And feel like the top of your head is being pulled towards the sky. And then as you exhale, let everything looks off. Give the knees a little bit of a bend and start walking your hands forward. See if you can hook around your big toes, pulling your ribs in close to your thighs, and then once that's done, see if you can stretch the legs out even straighter, then melt down even farther. And let's release your toes and roll back up. And then once you've made it back up, we can bend our knees. Place our hands behind our thighs, relax our shoulders from our ears, find your balance on the table. Let's start extending our legs, returning to our teaser, adding your arms high. Now open just the arms, and I want you to point your fingertips towards your buttocks, 
and ease down onto your forearms without sinking into your shoulders. And then we're going to bring the knees to the chest. And I want you to press the soles of your feet together. Inhale the legs straight out. Open, close your legs. Exhale, they come back in. So let's inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, pull. Inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, pull. Inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, pull. Inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, let's do one more. Inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, pull. Now bring your knees back together. Push yourself right back up onto your tailbone. Refind your balance with that nice straight spine. And then start to extend your legs once again. Going where you can without feeling any rounding of the back. Adding your arms. Now let's open slowly down. 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 To the ground. And then once we're down, stretch out through the heels of your feet. Reach out through your fingertips. And then let your body go soft. Float your arms back up towards the sky. And reach from them to your sides. Once there, let's bring the right knee all the way up to the chest. And now I want you to circle that knee. So I want you to bring the knee in towards the midline of the body. And as it comes to the outer edge of the circle, don't let your knee circle up past your hip. Good. And then we're just going to place the foot down with our knee bent. Open your arms wide. Shift your hips a tiny bit to the right. Tuck your right toes behind your left knee and then use your left hand to guide your knee across the body. We'll come back up. Ah, send that leg out. And then we'll switch. So this time we'll start by pulling the left knee into the chest. And then make that circle. So you're going to circle the knee in and then out. And we're not letting the circle go out past the edge of our hip. So one we'll last circle. Then just pull that knee in. And then we're going to rest the foot down while the knee stays bent. Let your arms go wide, shift your hips a little bit to the left, tuck your left toe behind the right knee, and then use that right hand to guide the left knee across your body. And breathe into that rotation. Then from there, let's release. And then move back to neutral. And send that leg straight out. Let's bring your arms closer to the body with your palms facing up. And just let your body start melting into your mat. Breathing away any residual tension or tightness. lightness of your body, floating just above the surface of your mat.
the end of life, what really matters is not what we bought, but what we built. Not what we got, but what we shared. Not our competence, but our character. And not our success, but our significance. Live a life that matters. Live a life of love. Sending away all of our anxious thoughts. Making a choice to live today with courage, with hope, and with an open and grateful heart. Sending random acts of kindness every day. Know that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the love, the life, the truth, and the beauty within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste.